When you go through enough pain, you start writing shit like this. You just wake up one morning talking about, I hate you. I hate you. I was persistently praying for your presence as if you are the present. I hate you. I was grateful just to wake up next to you every morning, opposed to thanking God for waking me up every morning. Nigga, I hate you. Okay, I probably should say that I hate you because I'm a Christian and my grandmother wouldn't appreciate that. So I'm going to say that I strongly dislike you. I'm sorry, grandma. Nigga, I hate you. I will come to you expecting the truth. Instead, you will wrap your lies around me like strong arms. And I will still be expecting the truth. And you just let your lies get us through. I embrace your book of fiction. And you ain't Picasso. So why the fuck you trying to paint me a picture of fantasy? I need reality. Damn, nigga, just be real with me. I need a grown-ass man. I don't need nobody to come chill with me. I need somebody to open up some doors, mop some floors, and pay some bills for me. Nigga, I hate you. I'm trying to figure out why did I even date you. Because you are a liar. You're a liar living the lifestyle of lust. And you don't know the first thing about trust. Because after you leave her place, you come and smile in my face. Pull back my cover so you can lay. And then you say, it's none of my business who you lay with. See, that's fine. But if that's the case, nigga, get your shit. Because I can't lay with a liar. Regardless of what my heart desire, I can't share my bed with a liar. And what makes it worse is that you live at the church. Pimping and preaching always in the front row. And you the church's biggest hoe. And then your conscience kick in. And you claim you want us to be friends. But when I was your woman, you wasn't interested then in being my friend. So why must we pretend like some fucking Facebook friends? So you can do it all over again? But see, my cousin can't die again. So you can walk outside the door again and be laid up with your ex-girlfriend. No, nigga, we can't be friends. And what makes you think I want that friendship that you and your ex got? Jumping from bed to bed. Getting in trouble with everybody else got. See, you're the reason the ace is on the rise for black women. Because your lack of respect for black women. And your business is your business. That's fine with me. But you can't come in my house, watch my TV, and do no more lying to me. See, ain't no more crying in me, you egocentric, simplistic-ass cheater. And just because you won't admit to it doesn't mean that you didn't do it. You 29 and you tit for tat. I tell you, you did this, you tell me that I did that. You are years older than me. You were supposed to be showing me. A year's worth of us conversing, you got all this education. And a year's worth of us conversing, we still haven't had a new conversation. It's like all this time I've just been waiting. Wait to meet the real you, the unconscious you. Because all that shit that I did for you, a nigga, I would have took a bullet from you. I just didn't know that that bullet was going to come from you. So all this time, I've just been waiting to meet the real you. And about this situation, ain't much that I can say. As many times I've been pitifully on my knees, begging for you to reach out or just begging for you to stay. Only this time, I'll fall to my knees and pray. Because nigga, I don't got no future with you because you don't got no future with you. I'm out. Mm -hmm.